You must focus, Johnny-san. Only then will you achieve your goal. It's no use. I'll never master the fabled sonic burp. It's easy, Johnny. Just imagine something truly disgusting, and your guts will do the rest. Observe. Oh, now I'm thinking about cats. Oh. I bow to you, Burp Master Dookie. Ah, shucks. It's nothing, really. The Turbo Tea House Time Machine? What's up with that? Hey, that guy stole my hair and my skin. That's because I'm you from the future. Four weeks in the future, to be exact. I'm here to warn you whatever you do, don't use the stairs. Huh? Wow, a warning from future you. Better not use the stairs. Or your bed, for that matter. Yeah, I don't trust anybody older than me. Especially me. That's weird. The top step broke when I stepped on it. Also weird. Why are you just standing there? Go get help! Still skeptical of future you? Uh, slightly less now. <sighs> Nothing better on a hot day than some frozen meaty pork pops. You know, I never thought society would accept the marriage of pork and ice cream, but I'm so glad it did. <laughs> Don't go in there. Yet. Future me again? Now, why should we listen to you? Wait five seconds and you'll see. Out of the way, Jonathan! I'm in need of some scrumptious frozen pork! Okay, now go in. Congratulations! You're this store's one million customer! That means you win a year's supply of delicious pork pops! What? Hey! <laughs> Man, I can get used to this. Huh? Oh, man! Thanks, four weeks from now, me. No problem, oh, four weeks ago, me. Seriously, though. Open a window. Focus on what's most disgusting. Let your stomach do the rest. No more time travel. Whatever you do, do not time travel. Uh-oh, Johnny. Looks like you've got a severe beating in your future. Oh, no. Future me has been too awesome to get a beating. Follow me, Dookie. Blindly? As always. If anyone can save me from getting beat up, it's me. Hmm. Ah, all fixed. Ah. Oh. <gasps> This is why I told you not to time travel! <laughs> well, I guess we've learned a valuable lesson about being more specific, huh? What's this racket about? I've never seen this racket before. Also, what's with the loud noise? Mohawk? Wow! Future me has cheesy lines, but it's so cool. Actually, I'm just going to a costume party later. Party? Wow! Future me is so cool! Hey, sorry about that whole severely injuring you thing. Eh, I'm over it. Wow, the future's super advanced. Yep, Susan and Mary were really busy the last four weeks. Out of the way, out of the way! I'm late for my laser hoverball match! The future's totally awesome, but Bling Bling's still lame. <gasps> Wait a second, what's laser hoverball? Laser hoverball is like volleyball plus tennis without the lameness. The idea is to keep you and the ball in the air at all times. You shoot the ball over the net with air armor hand blasters. Two key points. Don't get hit by the ball or land on the laser grid. So what you're saying is it's chock full of awesome sauce. Well, it is, but it's also chock full of pain sauce. The ball and the grid are electrified. Pain sauce! Wow, the future is intense and pain saucy. Wow, Test, oh. you look like you were hit by a house or something. <laughs> Man, I'd like to shake your hand for that hilariously painful blinkpocalypse. <laughs> Future sissy? What? There's two of you? <laughs> Bring it on! Victory tastes sweeter the more tests I beat. Yeah, I was supposed to go up against sissy in the laser hoverball tournament tomorrow. The ultimate tournament to determine who wins the title of Supreme Laser Hoverball King or Queen of the Universe. Yeah, laser hoverball.
Ball requires limbs, and my limbs are out of commission, so... Looks like you forfeit. <laughs> Nobody's forfeiting anything. If future me can't play, then me, me will. I mean, I, me. I mean, oh, you're going down, sissy. Yeah, well, I hope you like pain sauce, because I'm going to cover you in it. <laughs> I leave for five minutes to get corn dogs, and you're already in trouble? No, I'm not. I just challenged sissy to a laser hoverball match. <gasps> but she's the best laser hoverball player in all of future pork belly. You're doomed for sure. It's only 24 hours to the game, and laser hoverball is impossible to master without a lot of hard work. And we both know how we feel about hard work. Fear not! I will become the supreme laser hoverball king or queen of the universe. But preferably king. Okay, the first thing you have to master with laser hoverball is the hover part. We'll start slowly. No, 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 don't! Nice work! High five! Whoa! <laughs> I'd say somebody's ready for some laser hoverball. Oh, 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 oh. Me, me, me! Oh, right. That's not me. <laughs> Okay, no pressure, but everyone sissy plays winds up in a full body cast speaking gibberish and getting attacked by swarms of bees. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any bees. <laughs> Hope you like your body cast with extra bees. Well, I prefer my body cast on you. <laughs> This is so tense, I can't even eat my corn dogs. I can help with that. It's a figure of speech. Starting to taste failure yet? All I taste is victory. Mm. And a bit of pork pop that was caught in my teeth. Score's tied. Next point wins. I'm so nervous, I can't even watch. <laughs> <laughs> I win! I win! <laughs> yeah! Why all the gasping? Jeez, you think showboaty dancing is against the rules? It is! Foul! Huh? No showboaty dancing allowed in laser hoverball! Say what? Your last point doesn't count. And you have to replay it with a penalty. <laughs> hey, my arm blasters! How am I supposed to play? No way he can win now. Win? He'll be obliterated! Wait a minute. If past Johnny is obliterated, that means future Johnny will be obliterated too. And that's me! <laughs> Johnny san, remember, you must focus. Something disgusting. Yes, Master Dookie. Focus I must. Um. King or queen to you? Ugh, stupid Johnny. That was the most epic belch I have ever seen. I couldn't have done it without you, Dookie. I have to ask, what was possibly disgusting enough to make you burp like that? Bees in a body cast? Yeah, the grossest thing ever is the thought of Sissy beating me. <laughs> Even now, it makes me. some delicious pork pops. Yeah, actually, future me, we gotta head back to the present. Yeah, I have to get ready for that costume party in a few weeks. Did I mention I'm going as future Dookie? <laughs> and I guess we both learned our lesson about traveling back in time. We sure have. I'm from the future with an urgent warning. 
Or not. <laughs> Masked Johnny climbs to the top of the turnbuckle, and he drops the boom on the dog of doom. My name is Doom Dog, not the Dog of Doom. <laughs> oh no, I smell cleaning day. It's cleaning day! Dad, listen, I'm really looking forward to cleaning day and... Huh? <laughs> How did you do that? The power of cleaning, son. And now it's your turn to use the power on the entire downstairs. <laughs> So bored. No, cause I'm gonna let you in on a family secret. The cleaning song! The cleaning song? Dad, whatever crazy song you whipped up in your head, it will not help me clean. With a swish swish here and a scrub scrub there, it's time to clean up everywhere. So say goodbye to filth and grime, I'll clean this mess in double time. Well, it used to be a chore, but it isn't anymore when you got the secret to a super clean floor. Now the dirt's all gone, and it didn't take long when you sing along to the cleanup song. When you sing along to the cleanup song. Great job, son. And now that the house is clean, I'm going to prepare a cleaning day feast. <laughs> Well, say all you want, but you gotta admit, the song was catchy. And now it's stuck, stuck, stuck in my head, head, head. <laughs> okay, calm down, down, down. It'll wear off. And it's my dog I grab and I take to the lab. No, oh, help me! Johnny, it's cleaning day. And we promised Dad that we'd clean and not experiment if he promised not to sing us some cleanup song. <laughs> He sang the song to Johnny. It's bad, but catchy. Dad will never, never know if you make the song go. Away from my brain, I'm going insane. <laughs> okay, 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 we'll help. But only because we love you. And it gives us a chance to test our bad memory eradicator, which locates all bad memories in the brain and zaps them out of your head. We hope. <laughs> What if the machine erases too much of his memory? Oh, calm down, Manic Mud. It's not like he's gonna drool or forget how to eat or anything. With a switch, switch, cheer, and it's, it's the switch, it's a switch! Time to clean up. Johnny, the cleaning song. Can you sing it? <laughs> Raced his brain? There was a malfunction, yes. <gasps> Don't panic. I backed everything up onto a hard disk. All I have to do is reload Johnny's memories back onto his brain drive and... Why does it say not enough memory? How can there not be enough memory? It's his brain! <laughs> because we accidentally backed up Johnny's brain on the same drive as all our cute photos. I'll delete them so we can restore drooling and falling Johnny's memory. Dad! Wow, the lab looks so clean, which means it's going to be the best cleaning day feast ever. Mm -hmm. Dinner's in one hour. And make sure you and Johnny are there and that you haven't done any experiments that would upset me. Sure thing, Dad! Restore Johnny's brain now! But his memories are mixed up with every picture we've ever taken of Gil. They're all on the same drive. From the first picture we ever took of Gil cleaning his pool to the last photo we took of him cleaning his pool. <sighs> You're saying your pictures of Pretty Boy are more important than Johnny's memories? We're saying we just have to buy some time to delete the not-so-important pictures so we can reload Johnny's memories. Well, what are you gonna do? Train Johnny how to behave at the dinner table so your dad won't notice you erased his brain? And dinner is in one hour! I was joking. Hey, I... Now, Johnny, this is a napkin. And when you eat, you... <laughs> <laughs> just erase the gill pictures. He's a quick learner. Johnny, see how I put water in my mouth? Now you try. 
<laughs> no, technically he's right. <laughs> Every one of these photos is delicious. Ah, uh, blurry kill. Wait, I'll just delete some of the Johnny memories like I should have in the first place. But what are the bad memories? That's it, little Johnny. Go boom boom. Mm. Boom boom. Potty training. Yeah, I should leave this one. Darn it! Now, during dinner, the neighbor's cat will appear in the window and meow for a morsel. And that's when you always say, Kitty! Kitty! This is never gonna work. No, Dookie's a dog. Kitty will appear in the window. Kitty! No, Johnny, that's a garbage truck. Kitties are fluffy and evil and... Where's Johnny? Johnny? Kitty! Kitty! You had to erase his brain. We were trying to help! Now run, dog, run! Great. Now that I've separated Johnny's good memories from bad, I can just delete the bad ones. This won't hurt a bit. Hmm. This won't hurt a bit. Okay, we're not all his bad memories. Are we? This won't hurt a... Okay, perhaps we are. And if I erase them, then there'll be plenty of room for the new memories. Darn it, again! <laughs> He's gotta be here somewhere! There's danger everywhere, but no kitty! Kitty! Wow, he's really having a hard time with kitty. But he's safe and sound. He's not safe or sound! Kitty! That's not a kitty! Kitty? Dad is gonna be really mad if we bring a squished Johnny to dinner! Which means it's cleaning day festival feast time! Now, let's all dig in and enjoy a nice dinner as a family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
You erased Johnny's brain, didn't you? Not all of it. <laughs> <Huh>? Kitty! <laughs> See? Girls! We can explain! Kitty! <laughs> Oh. Ah! Ah, scary blah, blah. Ah. oh, that's good juice. And once again, you have failed to scare me. Darn it! Johnny, I've seen it all. And you're gonna have to try a lot harder than that if you want to pull one over on your old man. <laughs> uh, still with the dad pranks? I can't even get him to flinch. It's like he's some kind of scare prank ninja. <laughs> but I'll get him. Oh, I'll get him. Uh -huh. <laughs> This will probably be interesting. Off of the kitchen for a snack. What I miss? Mm. Mm. I think we figured out what happened. Crazy things that frighten Dookie. Johnny and Eugene's accident with the particle accelerator caused the molecules in their body parts to speed up, thus weakening the bonding properties. Is it say what? Hmm. It means I can do this with his head. Cool! Now you two just sit here and be quiet while we figure out a way to reverse the accelerator and keep your body parts from popping off. <laughs> you know that I Heart Susan shirt is too small. What are you talking about? It's just how I like it. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now give me my arm back! Okay, here. Hey! Hey, Dookie, check it out! Handstand! Nice! I stop that! Girls, Johnny's making light of our hilarious condition! Johnny! Fine. Seriously, your shirt's too small. It is not! Here, let me show you. Oh yeah, your shirt is too small. Wait a minute! Let me try something. Woo! A perfect fit! Sorry, Jonathan. Your body is more satisfactory for my current shirt-wearing needs. I'm keeping it! Ta-da! Get back here! Hey! Give me back my body, Eugene! No! Come on! All right, hand it over. Oh. 
Uh-oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to go with plan B. gonna stand for that, are you? Well, not without this, anyway. <laughs> Girls, I haven't seen Johnny in a while. He's not out planning another scare prank on me, is he? No. All right. Hey, that looks dangerous. You're not messing around with some sort of particle accelerator, are you? No. All right, then. <sighs> so, how do we get inside that thing? Pick me up. I'll see what's on the other side of that fence. Good. Oh. Yeah. Well, this would be easier if you had your old body. Yeah, not helping. Oh, I can't reach the top of the fence. <gasps> Wait a minute. I think I see the keypad that opens the gate. Maybe I can hit it with something. Uh, stop going down. Ah! If you make a that's using your head joke, I will bite you. Well, that's using your <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> Hello, Jonathan. I couldn't help but notice that my new hands are quite dry. Has no one taught you to moisturize? Give me back my body! Well, not if you're gonna have an attitude like that. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I have lasers, by the way. How come we somehow manage to encounter lasers everywhere we go? Get it? Feed the rest of me through. <laughs> Done here, you owe me something. I'm not sure what, but it's definitely gonna be something. I've been waiting for you, Jonathan. Come at you! Uh oh. Uh, hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I think you'll find escape is quite impossible. You know, when I built this thing, I did not plan for that. I'm switching us back, Bling Bling. Over my dead body? Or your body, or that, well, you, you, whatever. Sweet. Hey! Ugh, all this upside down time is making Doggy dizzy. Hey, that's mine! Kind of! Oh no! You're not ganging up on me! Steerike! Also? Ow! Computer, assemble body. If you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to wooing your sister. Oh, that's weird. For some reason, I don't really feel like pursuing my beloved. You just rolled your own head across the room like a bowling ball, and that's what you think is weird? I don't know what's the matter with me. It's like my heart no longer beats for Susan Test. That's because your heart is beating over here in your body. Hmm. Oh, darn it. The talking head is right. I hate that. If the heart that loves Susan is inside the old bling bling, then old bling bling I shall be. He can have your body back, Jonathan. Aw, that's really sweet. Hey, here's the thing. Somebody get me down from here! Okay, we've altered the machine to correct your molecules and make it so your arms and legs will stay where they belong. Ah, <sighs> beautiful and brilliant. Susan Test, you are a dream. Yeah, whatever. Who's first? Ew! It worked. Okay, Johnny, your turn.
turn. You think you can hold off on fixing me a minute? Sure, why not? Hi, Dad. Huh? Ah! <laughs> gotcha. I can't believe it. Pork Belly finally has its own totally gnarly, ridiculously dangerous crazy bike stunt park. I'd be as excited as you, Johnny, if I wasn't so ridiculously terrified. Sharks? I mean, seriously. It's the unjumpable Mega Gap. <gasps> oh, crap. Johnny must jump it. To the garage! Good old two wheels. Takes a lick in and keeps on. Okay, maybe it took one too many lickings. your bike. We're sick. How <laughs> oh, do I know you're not faking just to get out of helping me? <laughs> yeah, they're not faking. Our science project is due. <laughs> if you don't deliver it for us by the deadline, we'll fail and end up being tour guides in the Museum of Stinky Socks. Ugh, been there. It's way overrated. So will you help us? <laughs> No. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to find someone else to deliver our project on the Strike Bike 4000. <laughs> Chrome rims, composite frame, and unlabeled mysterious buttons. I'm in. You can ride it on one condition. You go straight to the Institute with our project. No dilly-dallying. What? Me? Dilly? Ah, we'll go straight there, right, Dookie? Yeah, sure. Hey, where am I supposed to sit? The handlebars? <laughs> nope. There's a button for that. <laughs> oh, squishy. <laughs> There's pretty much a button for everything. Cool. Got one there for a double-decker pizza? You're serious, Johnny. No fooling around. Our project has to get there for first period or we fail. So go straight there. Relax. What do I look like? Some guy who wouldn't go straight there? Just leave it to Johnny. What are these for? They will let you ride the BMX park without them. BMX park? Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Oh, we don't have a lot of time. Don't worry, dog. This bike's got rocket boosters, which means we can go to the park first, and I can be the first to launch over the mega gap, and we'll still have plenty of time to get to the Institute. Well, I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure all those firsts don't add up. They do to me. To the bike park! <laughs> Sir Jonathan. Eh, hey, bling bling. Nice outfit. Could I perchance have that package? What? Why? It's just a stupid science project. Yes, but it's your sister's project. Half of it smells like Susan. <laughs> I'll give you a million dollars. A million dollars? Whoa. With that much money, I can buy a bike park. And your sisters will flunk. Try again. Sorry, Eugene. No package for you and no Susan either. I see. Stay prepared to suffer the wrath of Sir Bling Bling, the Black Knight! Ah, uh, I don't like the sound of that. Fastball cannon! Punch a button! Ah. Yeah. Ah. Whoops. Might take a little while to get the hang of this. Let's try again. Button that takes us away from danger! Gotcha! Ta ta! <laughs> ah, you just had to go to the park, didn't you? Relax, I'll get the package back. Let's try this button. Huh? A glove? What am I supposed to do with that? Throw it at him? Uh, maybe you're supposed to use it to do like some nighty stuff. <laughs> Ever met. Yeah, I'm Tim Burnout. I stole your sister's technology and created Mr. Mittens. Oh, Mr. Mittens, yeah. I know him. Still don't know you. You will now! Hey! Sorry, but I gotta stop your sisters from winning all the scholarships! Oh, I don't think so. But 
We've got orders to seize that box. It's a matter of national security. But you don't even know what's in it. Exactly. Imagine if it fell into the wrong hands. Thank you. Hey! Wipers! Our glasses don't have wipers! Johnny, the project! Ah, there's gotta be something we can use to catch that package! Ah! Oh, there it is! This is not what I signed up for! Ah! Yeah, got it! Wait, who's got me? Ah! I do! Ah. Backside airbag system! Cushy on the tushy! <laughs> but tushy doesn't like that! Or that! Or that either! Daddy, do something! Rocket booster! Oh! Ouch! What's your problem, guy man? I almost had it! No, no we, we did, did dude guy. guy! Well, it seems we are all after the same thing. But none of us are gonna get it as long as Johnny has that bike! Right, you are, Sparkle Dude. Maybe we should work together, combine our weaponry. Ha! Us work with you, but we're the good guys. And you don't even have suits. Ah, stop arguing! Let's just get him! Johnny, the clock is ticking, half the city is after us, and your sister's future is at stake. Do you really think this is a good time for the BMX park? Relax, dog. There's always time for dangerous jumps over man-eating sharks, right? <sighs> Fine, we'll go to the Institute. Johnny, look out! <laughs> Give us the package! Never! <laughs> Time for a burnout laser blast! Time to give that bucket of bolts a new paint job! Oh, this might hurt. Johnny! Where's the save your best buddy button? You're right. This is pretty tush friendly. Johnny, that was too close. Let's just quit, go home, and hide from your sister's wrath forever! No way! I promise to deliver that package, and that's what I'm gonna do! Oh, now you care about the promise. The girl said there was a button for everything. Well, if one button doesn't stop it, maybe all of them at once will. Or it could explode and destroy us in a fiery mess! We're just gonna have to take that chance. to throw a strike. <laughs> No, I do not. Any chance you guys have something to stop us from crashing? No, no, we do not. <laughs> Very nice. This antibacterial ball pit will cut down on spread of pink eye, red measles, black plague, and seven other colorful diseases. A plus science indeed. <laughs> Congratulations, Johnny. You made it. Hey, you're not sick. You fakers. Sorry, but we needed you to test our real science project, the Strike Bike 4000. You get an A++. It was the bike the whole time? Huh. Yeah, I think we would have figured that out. So our intelligence reports were fakes. Super fakes. By us. Yeah. Hey, we could have been killed. Or worse, really hurt. My feelings are hurt. And who are you again? Tim Burnout! All right, you hurt Tom Burpout's feelings. Not cool. Oh, relax, 
Thanks, Johnny. You get to keep the bike. Okay, I'm good. What about us? Hmm. Everybody ready? Ready! It may take them a while to get the hang of the buttons. <laughs> Got a button on there for shark repellent? <laughs> Please let me babysit him. His name is Clyde. I've always wanted to be a monkey sitter. Orangutan sitter. He is not a monkey. Whatever. I'll be great. Aren't I great at everything? Most people would say yes. Please. Last time we let you keep an eye on something, we never saw our whoosh ray again. Mm. Okay, me next, me next. Refreshing and undressing at the same time? We are never giving this wish ray back. I see Ingrid, I see Fritz, I see Johnny's underpants. <laughs> Oops, my finger slipped. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that wish ray, but must have just, you know. Right. We don't have a choice. We're gonna have to leave him with Johnny. We have to go to the Institute to present our observations on orangutan. But Professor Slopsink will be here today at 5 p.m. to see Clyde for himself. So until then, keep him out of trouble. Don't forget that. 5 o'clock. Oh, yeah, and whatever you do... Do not let Clyde watch TV! And now, back to Booger Battle! <laughs> Should I ask? Oh, yeah. <laughs> His name is Clyde. <laughs> and I'm babysitting him. Looks like you're watching TV. Well, just like all good babysitters, we're becoming friends through the power of watching television. Works for me. We invented cheese it before the knickerbockers flopped the twist, see? Uh, should you be letting Clyde watch this? Yep. <laughs> Wow, he really likes this show. Bank robbers, car chases, bags with dollar signs on them. Who wouldn't? Clyde isn't watching TV the best. <laughs> Monkey friend watching TV. Monkey friend hanging out with me. Technically, he's an orangutan. Whatever. We interrupt this program for an urgent news bulletin. This morning, Pork Belly's only chimney sweep officially left town too. I'm sorry. To join an all chimney sweep singing and dancing troupe. This is breaking news. Arr, dancing on the rooftops, we give each other mad drops. Sweep, 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 sweep! So dirty. How will Santa Claus bring us presents? Hey, where'd our monkey buddy go? Orangutan. And why is the front door smashed through in the shape of Clyde? Dookie, we have a problem. I hate to break it to you, pal, but you're not winning any awards for best orangutan sitter. Dookie, is today National Howl Like a Monkey Day? As a matter of fact, it's not. Then that must be Clyde. Come on! Ew. Clyde, we gotta get you home before the girls show up with that science dude. Here, at least put this on. <laughs> oh, I get it. He wants to open a low-yield savings account to plan for his future. How responsible. <laughs> Susan and Mary's whoosh ray. Did you take that from my secret hiding spot under my bed? I, I mean, from the girls' lab? <laughs> There's a huge monkey robbing the bank! Oh, I was wrong. He wanted to rob a bank like in those gangster movies we watched. Rob a bank like in those gangster movies we watched! Hey, you think you'll split the money with us? We're not splitting anything. Clyde's going to jail. Yeah, Susan and Mary won't be cool with that. <laughs> Officer, you're just in time. Uh, we're not with him. Nope. <laughs> Don't even know the guy. You're all under arrest. This is all a misunderstanding. <laughs> Clyde, you are a bad monkey. A rank attack. Whatever. In pursuit of bank robbers! Suspects are two hairy males and a flame-headed boy. You are the worst orangutan sitter ever! Either we're really fast, or that car is really slow! I never should have let him watch TV. Susan and Mary are gonna kill me. 
still can... What do we do? We have to turn him in. You're his accomplice now. Me? We're in this together, buddy. Yeah, the thing is, I'm just an innocent dog. <laughs> Woof. Oh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Would you look at that? He's grooming you. How hygienic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Clyde. Unless someone just gives us a getaway car, we're gonna spend the next 100 years in prison. Is this the Palace Hotel? Park it somewhere shady, Valet. No, I am not driving a getaway car. <laughs> I knew you shouldn't have let Clyde watch TV. Hey, monkey friend, looking sharp. Uh, that's orangutan, friend. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the old guy's suit? Should I drive us to jail just to get this over with? I know this looks bad, but I got a plan. You do? Well, no. <laughs> Sarge, I'm naked. Mm -hmm. Can I go home? Clyde, as your babysitter, I should tell you, no naked blasting the police. Johnny, we have to turn him over to the police! Clyde is my monkey friend, and friends don't let friends go to prison. <laughs> Besides, the girls will kill me if he's not home by five. Now try, dog! <laughs> I think he has to use the bathroom. Okay, pull over. He can use the bathroom up there at that bank. Now, Clyde, promise you won't rob it. <laughs> I'm serious. Promise most sacred monkey promise. Swear on a million bananas. Well, I guess if he swears on a million bananas. <laughs> Darn it, Clyde! Hypothesis. Your research with Clyde is very intriguing. Conclusion, if everything goes smoothly, you could be looking at 10 Nobel Prizes. Yes! Ah! What is that? Ah! Alternate conclusion. If something went wrong, you'd never touch a lab in this town again. to stop at the mall for ice cream. Hey, Clyde and I deserve a last meal before we get carted away forever. <laughs> All right, come out with your hands up. There's no way out of this, Johnny. Clyde's running around with stolen money. A crime's a crime. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Where'd you get that from, a book of crime sayings or something? Uh, it, no. Hey, where'd Clyde go now? Oh, there he is. Oh, no. If he imitates more bad TV shows, there's no telling what he'll do. Clyde! Clyde. Where'd he go? He was right here. Clyde! Clyde! Clyde. <laughs> uh, unnecessary rumpus! We have to shut down the TVs or he's gonna keep changing. Hey, he's not so bad. <laughs> Susan and Mary want us to bring Clyde home now. I had one job and I blew it. If only we could do it all over again and not let Clyde watch that stupid gangster movie. Too bad we can't rewind real life. Yeah, too bad you can't... Aha! Donkey, you're a genius! I am. <laughs> Stop imitating what you see on TV. Okay, seriously! We're coming in right now! We mean it! Johnny! Gotcha! Hey, Clyde, look at this. We better chase it before a nigger focus. Now look at this. <laughs> What's Clyde doing now? If watching a movie forward made him rob a bank, maybe watching it backwards will make him unrob it? This better work. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shirt. <laughs> Yay! That monkey returned all the money! Yay! Yeah! All right, boys. I guess we can go home. Johnny! I can't believe you let Clyde watch TV! Yeah, I'm sorry. I should have listened and been a better monkey sitter. No! 
you proved our theory. Monkey see, monkey do. Don't you mean orangutan see, orangutan do? Correct! 100 Nobel Prizes for everyone! Clyde, I'm Rock the Bank. We were involved in a high-speed backwards chase, and my sisters are mad at me. Everything did work out great. Not everything. Pork Belly still lost its best chimney sweep. Wait, wasn't that a movie? Yep, I got it right here. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> now Santa Claus can come down the chimney again. Thank you, chimney sweep. <laughs> he is enthusiastic. <laughs> Wow. Your dad must not be very good at hiding your video games. It's not about my ability to find things. It's about my awesome super senses, which are on fire today because Renegade Pilot 6 comes out. Don't you have Renegade Pilot 5? Yeah, and 6 is better than 5. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's 20 for 1 trade-in day at Game Guide. So I need all the old games I can find. Yeah. Ooh, a surprise leftover taco. Mmm, taco chime. You can still smell the delicious. Mm, all I smell is grease, questionable meat, and dirty socks. Yep, everything that makes taco chime D to delicious. Hey, look! Okay, there's one last place to look. One. Why would there be any video games in here? We wouldn't waste our time with games when we can invent... Giga Goggles! Giga Waddles. Giga Goggles. We've combined advanced optics with precision laser correction to give the wearer hyper-enhanced vision. Right. But what do they do? They turn everything into HHHD TV quality. Oh! 19, 20, 21. You've got 21 games, Johnny. Let's get to the store before they close. Yeah, we have till 7. Plus, those giggly goggles will make Renegade Pilot 6 even more awesome. I don't know, Johnny. I... Whoa! Everything is so clear. I am gonna fool No, Johnny! Hey, what happened? Shut them off. I can't see anything. Johnny, we weren't finished with them. The goggles have side effects that include temporary loss of vision. What? But I need my eyes to go by Renegade Pilot 6. And also to see stuff. Relax. It'll wear off in an hour. But, but Game Guy closes in an hour. Now we'll never make it in time. It's okay, Dookie. I may not have eyes, but I have legs, ears, hair, a nose, and a mission. Just like that guy in that movie, Man on a Mission. Great movie. Way better than the sequel, Man Stays Home. Well, consider this the threequel. Man uses other senses to reach Game Guy by 7 p.m. Now that's an awkward title, but I'm in! Plus, you know this town like the back of your paw. Let's roll! <laughs> Look, Johnny left one of his silly games. Huh, let's look at it, so we can mock it more specifically in the future. Uh -huh. Lead the way, Dookie. You know this town like the back of your paw. You said that. I have no idea where we are. Then it's time for my super senses to kick in. I can smell taco chime. That's just a few doors down from Game Guy. I'll just follow the taco scent, and Renegade Pilot 6 is mine. But, Johnny, I... No, Dookie. No talking. I must focus. Like a ninja following the smell of tacos. <laughs> hmm. I don't smell tacos. All I'm getting is sewer. Ah! Sewer! No! Ah! Hmm. Now I smell a runaway rickshaw. Run away, rickshaw!
but this is moving kind of fast for me. <laughs> Gosh, you know, powder blue is so not my color. <laughs> On second thought, I could pull off blue. <laughs> Strange. I can still smell taco chine. <laughs> Help me, Johnny! She's pressing me to settle down! <laughs> She's pressing my bladder, too! Don't worry, Dookie! I'll save you! <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's kind of awesome! At last, we've painstakingly replicated the awesome fighter jet from Renegade Pilot 5. Yeah, but Renegade Pilot 6 is out today, and I hear it's even more awesome. Can't we just enjoy the moment? Where am I? Oh, wait a second. I know these controls. It's Renegade Pilot 5. And now, the ribbon cutting. I told you not to make the jet launch when you cut the ribbon. I didn't do that. Well, one of us is Debbie. At last, I can use my strongest sense of all. My flying the jet from my favorite video game sense. Warning, warning, collision ahead. Activate autopilot. Autopilot engaged. Voice control activated. Autopilot, rescue dog from Gorilla on top of Skyscraper. Affirmative. Locating dog, gorilla, and unfinished structure. I'm coming for you, Dookie. Catch, Johnny, but who's flying the plane? Autopilot turned on. <gasps> and I thought what we had was real. Taco Chan, I smell it! There it is! And it's almost seven o'clock! Which one's the let us down safely button? Uh oh. <laughs> Sweet. Autopilot engaged. <laughs> Johnny's here. Just 
just in time. Hey, I can see. One copy of Renegade Pilot 6, my good man. Sorry, you're too late. I just sold the last copy. No! To those two girls. We got so into the game, we just had to have the new one. Well, I'm glad I can have an influence on you for a change, but this won't stop you from inventing awesome stuff, will it? Of course not. In fact, we fixed those Giga Goggles. No more loss of vision. Sweet! Hearing seems to be the problem now. Whoa! 